This girl plotted to unalive her parents after they found out her hidden secret. This girl named Jennifer Pan lived in an upscale neighborhood in Canada. She spent nearly a decade weaving up a web of lies, lying to her parents about her failing grades and forbidden romance. That was up until her parents untangled the truth. Jennifer excelled as a student and ice skater. However, she stopped dedicating her time to her grades. This was after she was snubbed for valedictorian at her eighth grade class. Her grades began to slip more and more and she began to hide it from her parents. Afraid for her parents to find out she was slipping in her grades, Jennifer decided to forge her report cards. Her parents were very strict and Jennifer did not want to disappoint her parents. Her grades were good enough to get into university and she told her parents she would spend two years there. However, in her last semester, Jennifer failed calculus which kept her from graduating. Instead of fessing up to her parents, Jennifer decided to continue her life as if nothing was wrong. She lied and lied until years went by and her parents began to become suspicious. They asked Jennifer when she was going to be graduating. At this time, she and her boyfriend, Daniel Wong, found someone to forge her transcripts. Her parents then later found out that Jennifer was lying to them all this time. Jennifer was left furious and decided to do something about it. She hired three hitmen to unalive her parents. This was so Jennifer and her boyfriend could get the $500,000 inheritance money from Jennifer's parents. He built a secret apartment inside an abandoned mall. He lived there for four years before something happened. A guy named Michael, who was a struggling artist, was jogging one day and saw this abandoned mall. He then broke into the mall and found a hidden space that was unused. He didn't think anything of it until four years later when he got kicked out of his apartment for not paying rent. Feeling hopeless with no place to live, Michael then remembered the secret space he had found four years earlier. He decided he was going to break into it and use the space. In the middle of the night, Michael went into the abandoned mall, carrying his couch, his TV, and a table. He set up his whole apartment in the abandoned mall. He would bring more furniture, but only at night so no one would notice. However, it wasn't just Michael who knew this secret. Michael would actually invite girls over or his friends. They would sit and play video games or watch TV. Everything was going great until one day something bad happened. People began to notice something suspicious about the abandoned mall. Then they called the cops to do a search. The cops raided the abandoned mall and found Michael and his friends in the space. Michael was living there for four years until he got kicked out. In 2010, Sam Ballard was a 19-year-old rugby player from Sydney, Australia. That same year in 2010, one weekend, he was hanging out with several friends. As Sam was hanging out with his friends, they noticed that a slug had crawled out in front of them. Y'all, I cannot stand slugs. Like, look at these damn things. <sighs> Let me continue. So Sam's friends thought it was a good idea to dare Sam to eat this slug. They was like, hey, bro, we dare you to eat this slug. And Sam <sighs> accepted the dare and ate the slug. What Sam didn't know was that after eating that slug, it would change his life forever and not in a good way. Sam experienced weakness, severe leg pain, vomiting, and much more, and he was rushed to the hospital. His mom believed that Sam had multiple sclerosis since his dad had it. The family would soon discover that Sam's condition was far from MS. Sam was diagnosed with rat lungworm disease. So basically, it's a parasite that's transferred from rats to slugs and snails. After finding out about this diagnosis, Sam was induced in a coma for 420 days. When Sam woke up, he was paralyzed and was bound to a wheelchair. Sam required 24-7 care, had to eat with a feeding tube, and he also experienced seizures. Despite everything, Sam remained a strong and happy person, and he also had the love and support from his family. Sadly, in November of 2018, Sam passed away. Y'all would be surprised how many people have lost their lives because of a dare. All right. Hey y'all, this is 17-year-old Linda Pedroza, and she chose her boyfriend over her mother and would do the unthinkable to her mother. Viewer discretion is advised. In West Palm Beach, Florida, Linda lived with her mom, Isabel. Linda was once a sweet girl, but as she got older, she became rebellious. As a mother, Isabel did everything she could for her daughter, but no matter what, Linda was going to do what Linda wanted to do. In 2000, Linda was dating this guy named Antoine Wright, who was 23 at the time. To remind you, Linda is 17 years old. One day, Isabel caught Linda and Antoine naked in bed, and of course, she was pissed off. 
Linda told her mom, she said, look, mom, I'm at this point where I just want to move out with Antoine. And Isabel said, no, that is not going to happen. Unfortunately, there was not a solution for this mother and daughter, and things turned deadly on June 23rd, 2000. Linda and Antoine were so in love with each other that they came with this plan to kill Isabel. That day, Isabel came home from work, and Antoine attacked her with a frying pan. After hitting her with the frying pan, they both strangled her with the electrical cord. They were trying to do everything possible to get rid of Isabel's body. That's when they placed Isabel's body in the bathtub and filled it up with acid. I am not sure where they got the acid from, but when that plan didn't work, they both decided to dump her body in the woods in a place called the Anchorage. Three days after the murder, Linda called the police to report her mom missing. They also stole $8,000 from Isabel. They spent it on food, tattoos, all kinds of crazy stuff. Also, shortly after the murder, Antoine moved into the Pedroza's home. 11 days later, surveyors found Isabel's body, and she could only be identified through dental records. Honestly, it didn't take the police that long to figure out that Linda and Antoine murdered Isabel. Linda was offered a 20-year deal to testify against Antoine. Linda said she couldn't do it. Why? Because she was so in love with Antoine. Girl, first of all, your love is the reason why you're in prison. Linda said she couldn't do it, so that's when they offered the plea deal, the 20-year plea deal, to Antoine, and he took it. In 2002, Linda was sentenced to 40 years in prison, and she may be eligible for parole in 2038. Yeah. As of Antoine Wright, he has been released from prison since 2018. Linda, was it worth it? Was it really worth it? All right, guys, that's it. What do you guys think about this case? And I'll be back to do more true crime videos for you guys. Sick Wolfie.